Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I apologize for not being around much lately, as I have been ill and spending much of my time in bed. Uh, I did find this article that I wanted to um, to make you all aware of, okay? Uh, this comes from whatdoesitmean.com. February 17th. 2018. Deep State Murders 17 American Children to Keep Russian Election Hoax Alive and Chinese Spies Free. A blistering new Ministry of Foreign Affairs, MOFA, report circulating in the Kremlin today accuses the United States shadow government, Deep State, of being directly complicit in the murder of 17 American school children whose lives could have been saved if only the FBI and the U.S. Justice Department had, had done their jobs they're supposed to be doing. But instead of protecting the people they're sworn to defend, wasted their precious resources to concoct a, far, a farcical joke indictment. Farcical? Did I say that right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I know what it means. Joke indictment alleging Russian interference in U.S. elections, while at the same time blocking the FBI from arresting four top Chinese spies. Okay. FBI statement on the Parkland, Florida shooting on January 5th. 2018, a person close to Nicholas Cruz contacted the FBI's public access line, PAL, tip line, to report concerns about him. The caller provided information about Cruz's uh, gun ownership, desire to kill people, erratic behavior, and, and disturbing social media posts, as well as the potential of him conducting a school shooting. Boy, this kid was really uh, mind-controlled. I'm serious. They got him, and they got him good. Um, under established, <clears throat> excuse me, under established protocols, the information provided by the caller should have been assessed as a potential threat of life to life. The information then should have been forwarded to the FBI Miami field office where appropriate investigative steps would have been taken. We have determined, now remember this is a FBI statement, we have determined that these protocols were not followed for the information received by, by the PAL on January 5th. Wow. The information was not provided to the Miami field office and no further investigation was conducted at the time. This is holy shit sad, I'll tell you. FBI Director Christopher Wray said, We are still investigating the facts. <clears throat> I am committed to getting to the bottom of what happened in this particular matter, as well as reviewing our processes for responding to information that we receive from the public. It's up to all Americans to be vigilant, and when members of the public contact us with concerns, we must act properly and quickly, uh, which obviously they did not. <clears throat> we have spoken with the victims and families, and deeply regret the additional pain that this causes all those affected by this horrific tragedy. All of the men and women of the FBI are dedicated to keeping the American people safe. <coughs> All the men and women of the FBI. Yeah, okay, this is blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so anyways, all the men and the women of the FBI are supposedly, are supposed to be dedicated to keeping us American people safe. They aren't doing a very good job at that either, are they? and are relentlessly committed to improving 
all that we do and how we do it. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Mr. Christopher Ray. <clears throat> Bottom line. A, a, a tip was, uh, was called in about the shooter the beginning of January. Uh, supposedly. And, uh, nobody did anything about that? Well, wow. According to this report, this past week saw the most preventable in history mass school shooting in the U.S. take place that claimed the lives of 17 innocent American school children and whose heavily medicated with psychotropic drugs severely mentally ill killer. You'll see, that explains everything named Nicholas Cruz. He, too, I'm sorry, was a victim. All right. He was a victim of the government, the mind control stuff. You know, this time people, this might have been a false flag, but this time people actually did die. Seventeen children were murdered. So the FBI and the U.S. Justice Department had been repeatedly warned about for months what he was planning to do. Yet they did nothing. They did nothing. But with all these warnings being ignored to such an extent, calls are now being made for the FBI Director Christopher Wray to resign. Well, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see if he does that. Okay. Well, being rocked this past week with the evidence uh, there, having ignored the multiple warnings that Nicholas Cruz was preparing to massacre his schoolmates, this report continues. The FBI and U.S. Justice Department were further left to explain why FBI agents inexplicably entered into a business dispute on the side of a large political donor against a small investor businessman named Mark Cahodes. Cahodes. And that's and that saw these FBI agents illegally telling Cahodes that he couldn't tweet anymore. Also this past week, while the FBI and the US Justice Justice Department were ignoring the common the um, the common. Wow. A terrible slip of the tongue, I'm sorry. Uh, the coming massacre of the school children by Nicholas Cruz and illegally targeting small investor businessman Mark Cahodes, this report notes, U.S. Foreign Service Officer Susan Thornton shockingly admitted in U.S. Congress testimony that deep state aligned U.S. State Department took part in preventing the FBI from arresting four Chinese intelligence off officials for conducting illegal activities in New York recently. With these illegal activities being related to the Confucius Institutes, the Chinese Communists have established on nearly every single American college campus the FBI describes as massive spying and influence operations. And these are, I believe, the spies, the spies are talking about. Deep State prevents FBI from arresting top Chinese spies. Um, okay, if these deep state aligned factions in the FBI and the U.S. Justice Department having one of their worst weeks in history but saw by their actions and inactions wanted Chinese communist spies being able to walk free and 17 American school children lying dead in their blood-stained classroom. classrooms, this report says. They decided yesterday to lash out at Russia by issuing a comical indictment against 13 Russian citizens detailing odd 
meddling efforts against the U.S. election system that are truly strange, suggesting cartoon villainy rather than a master plot, and that foreign ministry spokesperson Maria Z um, Zakharova, speaking for the Kremlin, said about. It turns out that the U.S. Department of Justice believes there were 13 of them. Okay, I think we're not on the same subject anymore. All right, 13 individuals interfering in the U.S. elections. Okay, so I'm going to keep it on story here. Right here. Seventeen innocent children were murdered by the deep state just to keep the Russian election hoax alive and the Chinese spies free. There you have it. Um, wow. God bless those children. On that note, everybody, have a wonderful day. Until next time, thank you for watching. I love you all. Bye-bye.